Hey everybody, welcome to Devara Book Reviews. Today I decided to take a blog post that I did on Goodreads. I'm looking at my computer right now. I have it sitting on top of my books. And um, it's a blog post I did of my most wanted uh, book list of 2011. And it's my top 10. And I'm going to tell you them right now and I'm going to tell you why I picked them. But if you guys want to go ahead and do your most wanted list, um, go ahead, and I think it's fun. I guess it's, it's good to see what everybody else wants to read. Um, so, number ten for me is Anna Dressed in Blood by Ken Kendare Blake. Um, I saw this book on Goodreads. Um, I found it on there, and I thought it looked really good. It's about a guy who's like a ghost hunter with his friends or something, and there's this house that's been haunted and whoever goes in there dies and he goes in there and the ghost, there's a girl, there's a ghost in there, her name is Anna or whatever and she sort of starts liking him so she doesn't kill him so I thought that sounded pretty cool and I I really like when they mix horror with the romance because to me the horror books of like like of the nineties, like hold on a second. Let me get a couple out of here. Like here we go. The horror books of the nineties, um, they were just scary and fun to read. They don't exist anymore. Um, the closest you may get to it is uh, the Devouring, maybe, because that one was pretty scary. Um, I think they've disappeared. It would be cool to see them come back. Um, horror books. You know, that has nothing really to do with romance, just more of a scare. And then, uh, number nine is Summer in the City by Candice Bushnell. This is a sequel to, um, The Carrie Diaries by Candice Bushnell. Th these are the prequels to Sex in the City. Um, I really love Sex in the City, the show. Um, I watch it mostly every single night, and, um, I, would, I was like, oh my gosh, she's gonna release something for YA? Gotta read it. So... Yeah, and then uh, number eight is uh, Bad Taste in Boys. This is by Carrie Harris. Um, this is about um, a girl who goes to this high school and there's a coach that starts giving the football players these steroids and instead of turning them into all these buff guys, it turns them into zombies. So I thought that sounded pretty cool, so I want to read it. That number seven is The Locket by Stacey J. Um, the locket is about a girl who gets this locket, <laughs> and um, she, I guess this locket is given to her, and she can go back in time to, like, redo stuff. So I thought it sounded, to me, it sounds like a girl version of Back to the Future, and I was like, give me this book now. Number six is Spellbound by Carolyn Schultz. Um, this one, not too sure what it's about. I know, I think it's about witches. That's what I think, but I really wanted to read it because I love witches. Uh, number five is Meadow of Innocence by Jason Merrill. Uh, this is like a vampire story. It's a self-published book. And I saw the cover, and I loved the cover, and I wanted to read it. And um, I'm pretty sure you guys like the cover, too, because I'm showing the covers to the books while I'm doing this. And... Um, yeah, it's a vampire story, and I really, I really thought it sounded pretty cool. And number four is Demon High by Lori Devote. Um, that one, I really, really want to read it. <laughs> um, I was going to buy it because I had a gift card for Amazon, but then I ended up not, and I don't know why I didn't buy it. Um, but that one is about a girl who um, she can call, call on demons, and... Her mom is ga her mom got taken away by them because she was doing something messed up, and um, she decides that she she wants to do it as a business, and it's not right to do that. So she does it, and then she releases all these demons into the high school, and the demons sort of um, possess the teens, and she doesn't know how to get rid of them, and she starts liking one of them on accident. So I thought that sounded pretty cool. Then there's uh, Witch, uh, Witch Eyes. This is by Scott Tracy. This is a LGBT debut for 2011. It is a book that deals with 
um, gay characters, uh, a gay, it's gay themed, um, the main character I think is gay, and I don't see enough of these, I really would love to see more supernatural um, teen books directed to the gay audience, but anybody could read them, um, but I just really would like to see more, I'm writing them, so I'm happy to be releasing them and putting more out. Then, um, yeah, that one's about a guy who has his eyes, he can do stuff with his eyes, so he wears sunglasses, and yeah, so it sounds pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, same thing with witches. Um, number two, Spellbound by Jacqueline West. This is a sequel to um, The Shadows by Jacqueline West. It was the first book, and um, it's a really good first book, and I loved it, so I want to read the sequel. The number one is Mandalia by R.J. Gonzalez. Um, he's a fellow self-published author who's coming, who's debuting his uh, book this year, and that's just going to be his debut novel. And the reason I want to read it so bad is because he has not released a synopsis for it. There's no plot. No, nobody knows. So it's that's what gives it more of a oh wow, wow I want to read this. So. Um, if you have not added that to your list, any of these books to your list, add them. Um, it's, they're, they're all on Goodreads. And, um, yeah, so if you want to know more about RJ in the bottom, there's a link, or around here on the screen, there'll be a link, um, to his channel, and you can get to know him more. Um, so that's my most wanted list of 2011. Um, there's more books that I want, but I'm not gonna, I wasn't gonna make a huge list. But these are the ones that I mostly want to read. So, um, yeah, so I can't wait to pick all of these up. That's going to be a lot of books, but I'm going to get them all. So, um, I will see you guys next time with another video. Yeah, so, bye.